Let's discuss Dury Kemsley from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Natural or maybe man-made beauty? Disclaimer, this is all alleged. I do not have concrete proof, nor do I have a medical license to officially say and or diagnose any type of procedure. This is all speculation and part of public opinion. Remember, everyone is beautiful and it's their business what they do with their face and body. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my new series where we are going to discuss all of our favorite Real Housewives that may or may not allegedly have gone under the knife to enhance their already existing beauty. With the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 premiere, I thought to myself, I definitely need to choose someone from this cast to start off the series. So I picked the beautiful Miss Dorit Kemsley because Dorit Kemsley has always had the plastic surgery speculation thrown around her name. So in this video, I'm going to discuss, you know, Dorit's early days, Dorit's early housewives era, and then present day. We're going to discuss any noticeable changes that we may or may not see. And at the end of this video, very similar to my girl Lori Hill, shout out to her, we're going to add up a potential budget on what Dorit may or may not have spent to enhance or maybe not enhance her looks. Dorit's natural look is very Mediterranean in my opinion, and that is fitting since her family's heritage is, you know, Israeli. She starts off with long curly brown hair that could be natural or maybe even a perm. You know, back in the days, those were really popular to curl up your hair. She has elongated eyebrows that are relatively bushy for that time that really round out her almond eyes, I think perfectly. It suits her face really well. She has a very Roman slash Arab type of nose that does not overtake her face that dominantly. She also has a very nice cheek placement. Her cheekbone structure is more in the mid face and holds her, you know, very youthful skin and youthful cheek very well together. Um, if you also look at the proportions of the face, I think she starts off very beautifully. She has big, big, big smile for days, very nice teeth, and, you know, a good-sized lip to round out that smile. And what I think is also very pretty on her, you know, starting off look is the placement of her chin. She has a really nice chin to really go with the proportions in her face. On the right, we see that she has a slight hood to her eye, upper and under eye, which I think does not differ that much from today's look. And we see a slightly downturned nose with still a medium sized lip, a relatively big lip, a very nice teeth and very youthful and acne-free skin in her early days. So I think Dorit here looks stunning. Next up, we're going to discuss the early Housewives era of Dorit because this is the era where we start to see some minor changes to Dorit's look. Obviously, this is another time makeup and clothing and style play a huge role Role, but what I can definitely see is that Dorit has started out to get some very, very lightweight preventative Botox because she has a very, very firm forehead. She has very good skin, which could also, you know, play into her genetics that she is blessed with because we see that she starts off with very youthful looking skin. Um, I definitely do not see any type of filler around this time. I definitely see some preventative Botox and obviously some weight loss because she looks thinner than she did in her, you know, early 20s, 18, 17 year old self, which is completely normal. People mature, people age, that is to be expected. So the volume in her face is obviously gone a little bit. Um, many people have said that they think she has gone to get her eyelids fixed, 
which I don't think she has because I have very similar looking eyelids in Dorit's early days when I was a little bit younger. And as I lost a good amount of weight, pretty much all of the volume in my face started going down. And I think Dorit has gotten an eyebrow Botox lift to hold down her eyebrows in a firm position. And also that will contribute to your lid looking a little bit more open. We see she has no frown lines, no crow's feet. We have some smile lines that look totally fine, that's totally human. And all in all, a very nice look. I may or may not even see a type of implant in Dorit's chest area. Um, I think she even mentioned it on the show that she got a boob job that is not too crazy, very proportionate with her body. So this is a very nice look in my opinion. Let's talk about Dorit's present look. I placed these four pictures very strategically. Picture one and two are from Instagram. You know, a little edit, a little lightening, a little heavier makeup. Pictures three and four are from the show. These are genuine pictures to really see what Dorit may or may not have experienced with in present day. Let's talk about, you know, what's happening over there on Instagram in picture one and two we see a very sculpted Miss Dorit Kemsley, okay? The face tune is on, the editing is professional, the makeup artist was very skilled. I see very strategically placed setting powder to really give the illusion of a full mid face that is looking youthful and beautiful. And that was the makeup artist, you know, goal. And that was definitely achieved. She looks stunning. I see a very good overlined lip, some filled in brows that give good structure, and also some strategic blush and highlight and contour to carve out her face that looks a little bit more evenly filled out in the angles than in the pre-Housewives era. And now let's talk about the real aspect of present day, which is reality. Dorit has obviously, in my opinion, played around with more Botox and fillers. She has filled out her lip, her top and bottom lip evenly. She has definitely filled in her upper part of the cheek. She already had a very good cheek structure to go off of. Um, the cheeks look soft and rounded, which is a hint as to you know, differentiate between cheek implants and cheek fillers. Those are definitely some temporary cheek filler that'll go away after a year or two that you can choose to top up or not. Um, she has definitely been uh, disciplined on the preventative Botox because her skin looks amazing. The wrinkles are not really there. We see some nasolabial wrinkles we see some under eye hollowness but that is pretty much it and i think talking now about the nose is going to be a little bit tricky because there are many techniques to inject into or under the nostrils to make the nostrils go a little bit more down and give the illusion of a more upward tip of the nose because the reed starts off with a kind of a bit more straight slightly downwarded nose that i think its shape has not really sh has not really changed over the years what she maybe have gone under for is a size reduction in the nose a very very small type of rhinoplasty where the surgeon usually just cuts down on cartilage a little tiny bit and refines it so that it does look the same but a little bit more on the skinnier side. That can be achieved through a closed rhinoplasty approach. Um, you do not have to get yourself a scar if you're interested in that type of procedure because a telltale sign is, you know, the cuts in 
the the nostril side and in the middle of the nostrils there will be a cut that is pretty much very visible if you have an open rhinoplasty and i myself speak from experience so um either that or dorit has played around with some nose nostril botox that does not flare up her nostrils then therefore giving the appearance of a little bit more cinched nose so that is that on Dorit's present day look how much would it cost to achieve this potential look starting off preventative botox two thousand dollars a year lip filler five hundred dollars a year cheek filler seven hundred and fifty dollars a year closed rhinoplasty six thousand five hundred dollars breast implants $12,500, a total of $22,250. All in all, I don't think Darude's glow up or potential, you know, enhancements and procedures and transformation is as big of a deal as pretty much everyone on social media makes it out to be. Darude is beautiful before and after and remember, it's her personal choice, her personal business to decide what she wants to do to her body. Anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this series and you enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below who I should analyze next. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and continue to support the channel. I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.